In this video, we will look at how we can connect our design data to the Autodesk Build Assets module in order to track, update and collect further information during the construction phase of our project. Within our Autodesk Construction Cloud account administration, we are able to create project templates in order to standardise the way projects in our organisation are set up. An example of this is the ability to create standard asset categories, custom fields and status sets to be used within Autodesk Build. Once we've created a project using the project template as a base, we can further build out the project to assign any custom fields and status sets to particular asset categories, such as the doors and spaces categories in this example. Once we are happy with the asset configuration, we can then begin to look at mapping across our model data into the Autodesk Build Assets tool. We have two options for importing asset data into Autodesk Build. The first option is to download a copy of the assets import template and populate this using data exported from our Revit schedules or other sources. Once we are comfortable that our design stage information is at the appropriate level of development, Revit schedule information can be exported in CSV format to allow the data to be easily transposed between the two spreadsheets. The second option is to import asset lists and metadata directly from building information models stored within Autodesk Docs and to map the parametric data associated with 3D objects to the asset custom attributes within our project, creating a direct flow of information from the design stage to the construction stage of our project. In this example, we are going to use the second option and import asset data using our building information model. The metadata associated with our doors will be automatically accessible. However, in this instance, we are going to use a Dynamo script to automatically create 3D room tags with parametric data copied across from our room schedule. This will enable both the door and room information to be accessible using the Autodesk Build Asset Model Import function and to create a dynamic link between the asset information and the 3D object within our model in Autodesk Docs. Once the script is run, we can select individual room tags to verify that the design stage information has been copied across. As we have used the desktop connector in this instance to access our Revit file, any changes and saves that we make are automatically stored within Autodesk Docs as our file up versions. We are now ready to begin mapping assets from the model, which we can do via our Assets Settings menu. First of all, we are going to map the doors across, and I will locate these using the Revit category name. Secondly, we are going to map across our rooms, and I am going to do this using the Revit family name and the 3D room tag objects which we previously created. Once we have mapped our assets, the system will run a quick check to ensure we do not have any overlapping assets, before we move on to begin mapping our model metadata fields to our custom attributes. An easy way to speed up this process is to copy and paste the attribute field name into the parameter search bar. Note, if a parameter field is empty within our model, for example if this field is one that we want to populate during construction, the parameter name search will not return a result and we do not need to map these specific parameters. Once the mappings are complete, we are prompted to carry out a final review before importing our asset data into Autodesk Build. Once imported, our asset list will be available and we can customise this view to add our custom attributes as columns. We can use the filter function to search through and display assets based upon specific parameter values. For example, if we would like to view the room data by level. By selecting a particular asset, the pop-out window on the right will display all attributes, linked references and activity history for that specific asset. If we select the hyperlink within the model property, this will take us directly to the 3D object linked to the asset within the building information model, and in this example, we can activate the first person view to place ourselves directly within this particular room, with our asset data still displayed within the pop-out window on the right. If we take the example of the fire door now, 
we can follow the same process to inspect this particular door within the model and this time expose the model parameters associated with this particular Revit family in order to cross-reference them with our asset data. In order to prepare the project for our site team to easily collate information during construction, we can begin to link our room-based assets directly to marked up areas within the sheets area of Autodesk Build. This will allow the site team to very easily access all of the room information via the Autodesk Build app, in order to update fields, add photographic and other reference information, and to update the status of the asset, which will also be reflected in the colorization of the markup. We will look into this workflow from a site-based perspective using the mobile app in a later video. Finally, in order to meet with the requirements for information exchanges in CSV format, the Assets tool will allow us to export a selection or the entirety of our asset data as CSV files or in PDF report format, meaning that the data can continue to flow from the construction phase into the operation and maintenance stages of a project for import into any end client CAFM systems.